pretties welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is tanya i film all kinds of pink girly beauty fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel if that's something you're into make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos for today's video i'm going to be doing a little nighttime staying at home vlog probably going to be organizing doing some things hauling some girly stuff which i know you guys love so if you guys want to see all of that just stay tuned first thing i'm going to share with you guys are some cute dresses i got from aliexpress thank you so much to aliexpress for sponsoring this portion of today's video my style is very girly usually not found easily in stores and stuff so look on aliexpress to hunt for unique cute kind of pieces starting off with what i'm wearing so i'm going to overlay right here a clip of this cute little nightgown it is honestly just adorable i it's so comfy and it hugs the body so well really beautiful ditzy floral pattern it has me in a chokehold right now i just love that really baby tiny floral print next dress i have is this cute little casual gray dress it has a little bow here on the front and it's just like a mini dress i wore this to go get my matcha the other day i'll overlay a clip of that here but also i will overlay me wearing it right here so you guys can see how it looks on and i'm just like in love with how comfy and soft that this is it's really easy to just throw on go on a walk go get a latte which is basically something i do daily i take a walk or i go get coffee or i go get matcha or whatever it may be it's like my little girly treat when i'm working and stuff like that so i love doing that and really love this dress i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've already worn it quite a few times it's so easy to just throw on and i love 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 stuff like this and this was so affordable the next dress that i have is a little bit more of a formal dress and it's so pretty <gasps> The satin on this, it's just the perfect beige, like, cream off-white satin. It's so pretty. It's actually double-lined, so it's not see-through. It's really nice. This is really, really stretchy. It ties in the back, and it's actually a romper, not a dress. So it does have, like, the bottom is shorts, but it's, like, really flowy, so it looks like a dress. And this is just a really, really pretty, very easy-to-style type of night-out kind of dress. I cannot wait to wear this. I am definitely going to be wearing it pretty soon because I think this might be my favorite piece in the haul. I am really in love with it, and I love, like I said, I love the color. It's going to look so nice with pink. Next dress I have, I've actually already worn. If I took pictures, I will insert them, but... It is this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. It's like a nude with lace over it and it has lace sleeves. It just looks so sexy. It's really stretchy. It's really, really comfy. I love a comfy, cute dress. It does flare out at the bottom. So it does give you some breathing room and flatters your body, especially if you tend to get bloated. This is a really, really great dress for like dinner, which is exactly what I wore it to and the lace is super pretty here's a close-up really nice it's actually like a stretchy lace so this will fit your arms beautifully and of course there will be a clip right here of me trying it on but i absolutely adore this one this has to be like my second favorite had to get this you guys it's a little red dress and it has like this corset style to it i love red when i'm not wearing pink or neutrals i'm more than likely wearing red i think this is like my favorite quote-unquote bright color to wear um i love a red lip this is giving like little red riding hood vibes you know going to go get captured by the wolf vibes <laughs> really adore this i love how it laces up on the back so it can really cinch your waist you can really tighten it and make it look flattering and of course the girls look amazing in this of course it has the beautiful little lace like detailing on the straps as well it has a little bow here boob part and this looks amazing on i just really love it and this is like a true bright red and it's just so pretty it looks like lady danger if you guys know what I'm talking about, like the lipstick from MAC, that's like the color of this dress. Okay, lastly, I did get a little black dress, and this one, it just gives such vintage vibes. It's so cute. I love the lace detailing on the sides. This one, again, is really stretchy. It's actually like a ribbed material if you look at it up close, and it looks really nice. And all of these dresses, I didn't have to wear a bra or pasties with, which is so nice because, you know, it's just an extra step that sometimes can be annoying. You know, I have new struggles with the, with the girls. I have to put on pasties or like make sure that they don't look you know out of place or like 
sometimes I like to use like the stickies that like make the boobs do this but with these dresses I didn't have to wear literally anything and they looked so flattering so yes all of these oh I forgot to show you guys it has that lace detailing on the bottom all of these dresses will be linked down below along with any coupon codes or any discount codes um they were shipped super super quick you guys they arrived literally the same week that I ordered them so if you need a dress in a hurry for the weekend or anything, I think that you can definitely trust AliExpress because I know in the past we were used to their shipping taking a while, but now they have something called Choice Day. So now you can get your stuff super quick and it's amazing. Let's continue on with our night vlog. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off by lighting a candle for the night. I do have this box because I just got my new hair extensions in the mail. These are luxury for princess. I'll show you guys what they look like in a bit but let's go ahead and light a candle I just kind of you know it always sets the mood and it gets me in the mood to like clean this room I have a disaster because I just got done filming a bunch of reels and a makeup video which I'm really excited if you guys don't follow my makeup channel or you're not subscribed to my makeup channel I'm gonna link that it's for the low maintenance girlies that you know don't expect a video all the time because I pop in and out of there. It's a low maintenance friendship over there, but yes, let's light this candle. I recently got this lighter. It's like the perfect shade of baby pink on Amazon. I'm gonna link it below, but I'm just gonna go ahead and. No, <gasps> guys, I hate when stuff like that happens. Like when you have like white and. It's just hard to keep it clean. Class of dresses, I have to like hang these, but I did get some Amazon now, and I believe it might be my new shampoo that I ordered. Is so I ordered the. It's like a dandruff shampoo. I do get dandruff, you guys. I mean, it's not like something to be ashamed of. It just happens. It's a skin condition. Doesn't mean anything bad, you know. But I tr do try to use like dandruff products, and I heard incredible reviews about this it's so expensive but i'm excited to try it because if it really actually works this is going to be literally life-changing it's oribe and it's their serene scalp anti-dandruff shampoo i have literally tried everything you guys head and shoulders all the drugstore brands i've even tried some high-end stuff for the dandruff and it just never works so really excited that i got my new shampoo in the mail oh oh i do know what this is so this is actually yeah this is actually like a package for my new brand so you guys i this is like a random announcement in this video but i am launching something very very soon i made a whole instagram i'm gonna overlay it here so make sure you go follow if you want to stay tuned this brand is literally a dream come true i feel like i've wanted to do something like this for a while i just didn't know what i wanted to focus on and this brand is going to be focused on all things pink and girly and i'm not gonna give too much detail because it hasn't launched but over there i actually am posting girly inspiration and like reels on that page so you guys won't want to miss out if you want like your daily dose of pink like you're gonna love that I'm gonna flower openers like knives from Timu. So this is actually tissue paper. It's very very light blush pink and these are gonna go inside of the mailing supplies. Um, I should show you guys the boxes that I got. They're like the perfect shade of pink. Guys tell me these boxes are not the most perfect shade of pink. This is the boxes I will be mailing. The products in they're pink even on the inside it's just gonna be so cute and the tissue paper is like a bl more blush pink it's giving more champagne but it's kind of like the vibe i'm going for just very light pinks um and it's just gonna be so beautiful i cannot wait to share with you guys what i'm launching uh, like it's eating me up like i just want to tell you guys but i just can't yet so i caved and got a couple fragrances <laughs> you guys know fragrances are like yeah i love fragrances so i finally got the love shack fancy perfume i finally caved after using this for a week when i visited my friend Brittany. i just fell in love with the way it settles on my skin the way it works with my body chemistry it just like smells so nice and then i did go to a miss dior event and i did get their new and they actually engraved it with my username i don't know if you guys like will be able to tell that it has my username on there but 
it's so beautiful and this smells so nice it smells um like the original miss dior was just very floral it didn't have a lot of sweetness to it or fruitiness or anything but this smells like a floral sweet fruity fragrance that's still really sexy and sophisticated and it just smells expensive in the best way i think this is like my new everyday like my new that girl fragrance you guys know i was stuck on burberry hair forever but i think this is my new favorite right here or like a that girl scent like an event perfume every day just like i always want to smell like this you know love shack fancy i feel like gives very girly vibes like it's definitely like a shopping with your girls girls day brunch type of fragrance and i'm really excited about it as well but you guys know how much i love absolutely love perfume so you know can never have enough perfume over here okay guys this is what's going on with my desk i did get a new desk by the way there's just a lot of things to update you guys on with the beauty room i feel like i'm getting close to doing a tour but i do want to do some more organization videos first but today we're gonna focus on cleaning this up this looks like this for me just filming and i'm not even kidding this is how it'll look after i film a bunch of reels and content it's just it is what it is so let's go ahead and get this cleaned up i'm gonna first of all shut the blinds so that my neighbors can't see me since it's getting dark go and i'm gonna go ahead and just get to cleaning all this up and putting things away Okay, I cleaned up the desk a little bit. I've been keeping this mirror here because I've been filming videos for the makeup channel. I have like this little notebook with my planner here. Like, empty coffee cup, like we just gotta take that to the sink. Honestly, this is like as good as it's gonna get for now. Love it. I feel like it's a little cluttered, but I think I need this setup to stay like this for now until I finish the work that I'm doing. Good. I think I could like put this away because I just don't use it all the time. It's to do like voiceovers. I just don't do that many voiceovers. If I take the mirror off, I mean, there's not really much back there besides like my pens. But I have this cute decoration that I don't want to be hiding. So maybe we we'll just push it back. Yes, that creates a lot more space. I have my MacBook and then I have a couple of attachments. One's my hard drive and the other one is what I use to import like my footage. So I think that stuff... I'm going to be editing tonight, so I want to keep that stuff handy. These drawers are not organized whatsoever, so I don't want to show you guys yet. I think I'm going to do like an updated desk organization video. I'm just showing you guys like my nightly routine after I'm done basically filming. Like the steamer, just because when I film clothing things, I really need a steamer. This is not my favorite steamer. I ordered another one that has like a bigger surface because this right here, it just takes forever because it's small. I feel like I need like a larger one. I want to show you guys another little corner of my room that I added in today's video. This is just going to be like a nighttime, basically hang out with me in my closet and me. It's like a show and tell, I guess, telling you what I've been up to. I've been focusing on reels a lot more. So I took a little hiatus break from YouTube. I'm sure you guys noticed it's been like three weeks just wanted to focus on my instagram for a little bit and kind of really focus on getting that back on track because for a long time i felt a little lost on what to post on there i know you guys don't see that or like you probably can't tell because you know i'm always posting something anything but i really wanted to like regroup and get my content to be what i know it can be on instagram and i also was traveling a lot at the beginning of the year you guys if you follow me on instagram you know this so i did take a little break from youtube i do apologize for being gone for like three weeks but it was a break i really really needed i think as youtubers like we know if we take a break it's kind of almost detrimental sometimes to our youtube career i guess um to the logarithm the logarithm kind of hates you if you don't post so you know i try to be consistent and stay consistent but sometimes a girl just needs a little break a little breather to refresh and like get out of like feeling like in a rut i guess and sometimes it's just not good to force yourself to do something that you're just not 
okay doing at the time and for me youtube was just like this really big monstrous task for me um, especially because i hurt my back well i didn't really hurt my back i just was having really bad back pain and found out i had degenerative disc disease and editing for long periods of time is probably not the best for me so although i did hire an editor an editor can get expensive and i was traveling so i just didn't really also have the time because even when you have an editor you have to sit down and like transfer the files to the editor so i didn't really have the time to do that and yes i mean anyway i'm done rambling now but yeah i'm sorry i didn't give you guys like videos for everything that i've been doing in the room but gonna be like organization videos and me just kind of sharing more with you guys now that i had my little break and i feel refreshed and the good news is i have been working behind the scenes on it so you guys will get another tour pretty soon i'm sure you guys will love that I'll share with you guys what's going on in this other corner which is a little insane over there but it is what it is i'm just gonna show you the reality first of all i'm gonna show you the nice part <laughs> which is this new little area which is my coffee bar let me zoom out can i zoom out more there we go okay yes this is my coffee my new coffee bar area i'm so excited i didn't know where i was gonna fit a coffee bar in this room when i first moved into it because my units um like the closet system was pushed all the way towards this wall so this space wasn't there before and then i had like a shelf for like makeup things and my vanity and i just decided ultimately like i don't need more storage for makeup aside my vanity i never really did need that i just kind of was like oh i have a bigger room so i wanted to like expand it and you know i was in the, in the end i just didn't really that wasn't my priority anymore i decided to actually move the pack system all the way towards the wall where the vanity is and it left this open room and it's perfect because i have like my office area here and then i have my coffee bar here so it's super convenient and nice to be able to make my coffee and stuff when i'm working i'm actually gonna go ahead and light that candle. it's so sad over there <laughs> with no candle lit so i'm also gonna light i have some like candlesticks that are electric like they're battery powered so i'm gonna light those as well here is what it looks like with everything lit up it's so like dreamy i like to light all this stuff at night and i even light the candle you're seeing over here i even light that at night too whenever i'm like editing it's just such a vibe in here but then there's the floor <laughs> so this right here is a spring girly haul you guys will be seeing very very soon on top of some pr and things that i'm gonna show in videos it's just like a messy messy corner but i'm gonna try to organize it right now so that it doesn't look like this so i can actually walk over there and get to my stuff i'm thinking about doing like a coffee bar video where i organize these drawers because there's literally nothing in there right now i think for the meantime i'm going to just like put some pr in things to hide it away um the bottom drawer actually has like random gear and i'm thinking putting my steamer in there will be a, probably a good idea this is obviously trash everything i'm calling is actually inside of these like reusable marshall's bags so that's like convenient to have and then, a lot of this is like for the spring haul as well it's just empty it's just trash a hundred times better i think so i have this acrylic stand that goes for a monitor which you guys know i have my pink monitor but i've been trying to decide whether i actually want to put it on my desk or not or just use my laptop i just don't know i might actually bring my monitor out for now i'm just happy that i situated this corner so i can have all my filming stuff also in order for all my filming tomorrow so yes so happy okay let me put away my steamer the only thing in here are coffee mugs and yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna make myself a tea because i feel really thirsty so let's do that I got myself a chamomile tea and that's just like my favorite tea to drink at night. Decided we might as well multitask and make a reel. So I'm pulling out my little tripod. If you guys are interested in this, I will link it. But this literally is amazing for recording reels. 